let's go. Can we get a forty five death warp? Is the question. Maybe, just maybe. That's gonna be a bad because now I didn't take any damage. <laughs> the first part of your message there is being held for automod because you used the word bitch. <laughs> forgot that I had auto mod turned on. <laughs> there we go. Let's see, I should have gotten a cup of tea or a beer before I started this run, but... Yeah, no, I can see... I see it, it's just that the message doesn't go public. see someone running this and you start learning it more quickly than I've been so I can get on it. Yep, I know that feeling. I almost had a run the other day, but it died right at the end of the game because I wasn't patient enough. I think that's my main issue. I'm trying to go fast by forego any sort of self-preservation. So I go fast, but I die. But welcome. Oh shit, that's bad. Oh. There, okay, saved it. Yeah, it really is. Especially when you're not used to it and you're trying to go fast. And then I looked at... Kasei's run and realize that shit, you actually have to kill things. It's like, oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. One, two, three, up in the corner, down, one, two, yep. Good enough. I actually did like half an hour of runs earlier tonight, and I just completely botched them. It was kind of embarrassing. It was that bad. I'm actually... I'm 
not going to do damage or a uh, death warp here, I think. I'm going to do a slightly slower strat. That allows me to... Wait, would it be... This way. What am I doing? I completely confuse myself now by going off route. You can actually check viewers. Oh yeah, this is completely the wrong way. Whoops. No wait, I know who the third viewer is. It's me, of course. Duh. Being stupid. Yeah, that's, uh, it's me. Because I'm watching the stream for chat. One. Yeah, that one heart is actually going to make a big difference. Because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, pigeon or clever. Uh, you are in the Dendara speedrunning discord, right? Yeah, that's why I recognize the name. So everyone is accounted for. Today combined, actually. I'm a bit more relaxed now, I think that's why. Got all the salt, haha, <laughs> out of my system. Oh, yeah, that's where they usually discuss strats and stuff, and also discords for individual streamers as well. Where they have their communities doing shit. Oh yeah, I have another. I have an extra heart now. Wow, that's horrible. Let's go right there. I can't. What? Okay, cool. Oh, and then screen. So yeah, I'm, I joined the um, Dundara speedrunning discord, uh, there's a sp even a specific channel just for one, for posting your stream when you go live, which is how Pigeon found me, and then there is one channel in there for speed tech, like all the skips I'm going to be showing off a couple of the skips in the run later that I found in the Discord. I'm probably not going to be doing a uh, Village of Artists skip. Just because that is complete ass. Question is, can I do fast rats for Bison now. I mean Augustus. Well, this game isn't really patched, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and a lot of people 
uh, a lot of speedrunners do on a specific patch. Wait, his other hand spawned outside? What the hell? Well then, that's gonna be a sl slow fight. There we go. That's practically free. Shoot up here. This is like the slowest Augustus fight I've ever had. I mean, the, when I played this casually, I got the face gun. Yeah, it's never taken me this long. Because it's going up and down. Shit. That is the worst Augustus I have ever seen. So much fun when the hand is fucking off screen. Well, let's see if I can do phase skip. Otherwise, I'm gonna be. I wish they would hurry up with some of these things. Wow, I did even less damage. Now I wonder where my corpse is. No, no, not that I know of either. Um. There might be a patch coming soon that's gonna affect the runs. Thirteen twenty stone of creation. Yeah, I know it will. No, I know you're tired. <sighs> Fuck it if I've already jumped up here. Wait, what? <sighs> Just that. So I lost about 200 salt, which kind of sucks. Wait, am I tripping? No, it is this way because now you can take the shortcut through this here wall get fucking wall bang come on, out my way in here and we take the right path
yeah, one way. We'll see about that. Bracers of Patience. Do block damage. Even though I know why Kasei gets them, but I'm thinking that if you have five hearts by the time you get to the place where you need them, you can just damage boost that shit instead. Which saves you the hassle of going over here. I'm not sure if it's for anything else in the run. Oh yeah, you need it's for the um for the um second boss as well. Oh that's three. But is that it's not an instant kill now, is it? Well, if it is, that would suck, but if it's not... Uh. That's why I get the chest in that order, so I can get that door. I mean, it's probably just saving frames at this point, but I mean, it's something, right? Like I had five viewers there for a moment. That um, surprised me. There we go. Oh, fourteen salt over one hand. Get salts along the way. Well, there are so many sources of extra salts. So that's the thing. It's like, do is it really necessary? Because we death warp here anyway, so much. So, or in general, there are a lot of death warps. So. Yeah, that is. That is uh, very true. Handy, but if we're going to be talking about, like, hard strats later, like when we're going to start pressing the world record a bit, come on, uh, then perhaps Bracerless will be a route. Who knows? Uh, it's not like I know. What the fuck I'm talking about? Just theory crafting. No, you go down here. This is for the way back. Six, so I need three more hearts, even though I'm probably gonna go for a bit of a strafer strat and go for ten. But then end game is gonna suck so bad if Bracerless becomes a thing. And it's also depending on if, um, if, uh, the second boss is actually doable. 
without uh, bracers. Because if, if it isn't, it's a moot point with the strat we do. Let's see. No, damn it. No, what? That's the first time I fail at strat. Okay, now is the question <laughs> if I will survive this. This is gonna be uh Nope! Fuck. <laughs> Saw the moment I jumped that I was doomed. Shots at skip. Well then, um, let's go. Oh, you can jump down there instead. Today I learned. Is it worth going for the skip again? Yes, it is. Oh, wait, you, oh, you did, what? Oh yeah, I had to. Well then, that means I lost a bunch of salt there. Not too much, we usually death warp there anyway, I think. It was just time. Well then, practice is worth it. This is a power chest that is completely fucking useless. If it was a heart chest, then I would consider taking it in the future, but if it's just energy, it's completely garbo. That's the movement I wanted. My movement is fucking clean in some of these rooms, and <laughs> others, it's uh, more like that. Buy um, 
like anti-slip gloves or um, chalk powder for my hands because I can feel that now I am getting kind of sweaty. I, okay, that's something I hate with this game, that it feels like I drop inputs or that the inputs come late because I can swear that I was holding uh, left trigger there before the plant did its thing. But I still got wrecked. Oh, look at me blaming the game. Ah, my Nintendo controller's broken. <laughs> Well, you see there now that I actually failed it because S.H.I.E.L.D. wasn't really working with me. And I got it anyway because I have enough hearts damage boosted because we need nine anyway for um, bridge skip. Or we use the bridge, so technically should be a lower uh, forest skip. But with the hearts I have right now, I can just tank those three hearts of damage and go for it. Which is why I'm thinking, like, do we really need the bracers? I mean, it's convenient in the end game, and it depends on the second boss, like how much you actually, uh, how much damage you actually take in that room, because he shoots out like a bazillion of those small bullets. But if he, if there's, no oh, fuck out, that one fail it like seventy percent of the time. No, but if he um, wait what? Out of bounds. Thank you. Seventy nine salt. Come on. Uh. I do not want a death warp with just missing 79 salt. I'll probably kill something on the way. Pick up the excess. I shouldn't be doing this now. F is for finding and fun. Um, time to go. Well, possibly. Bracers are very quick to get, and the second boss is three phases, I think, if you do it the intended way. And that actually takes a while. Not too much, but yeah, that's something a bit of testing could help them. So that puts me at one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hearts, so I need one more. you actually could do if you don't want if you if you had a better salt route we could do is get bracers and then death warp back which would be very quick I think oh, okay. 
so that would be probably the best way to do it. Oh wait, I was supposed to take damage there. Fair. Because, I mean, if you don't have any any use for the salt, then there's no point running back, and there's, well, that instant death enemy there anyway. It's an okay. So there, there are a lot of possibilities for some slight routing changes, I think. Uh, another skip. then you can do the, like, there's another place with a lot of salt, uh, or a couple of chests with both salt and healing, I think. If you take the bottom route out of the library, you can do the same clip, I or the same um, damage boost skip I used to get in to get out through a different way with the extra chests down there, which would also be very helpful. So, I mean... There are different possibilities, it's just like, what we have to do in that case is start timing shit and see, and like weigh pros and cons. Ouch. 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 Billia. that rhythm Uh, double chest on the left. to get spinny boy. Yeah, it is. Nope. Nah, I should just spam jump. That's right. So yeah, the camp in the woods before the circle. Well, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, I saw you talk about that. Possible, yes. Um thing is that then we would have to go flower flower yeah there's that one thing that I'm always really bad at which is the end uh wait 
Yeah, when you go back after you get the Skull of Remembrance, those uh, three platforms that move there, the third one I'm really bad at, and I know that in Kasei's new world record run that he did, like after when, when he was having a bad time with Turok streams, uh, he, he died there as well. And his salt went out of bounds, as it did for me as well. But, so if you die there, or then, then you'd come all the way back before the boss, which would be a very bad position to be in. And look, now I made it through here, no damage. Last time, I took like five. No, so, I mean, yeah, it'd be possible, and considering the end game, you could just probably pick up a chest somewhere to make up for the salt you lost. Because some of those late game chests are insane. So in that whole route, I made like 2,000 salt, and I know for a fact there are chests later that pretty much give the same amount. So how much am I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because I might do a death work later. So. No, this is the way we go. Yeah, we get the the uh, camp now. Well, that defeats the whole purpose then, because if we get salt in the, or if we try to get salt while going for the, no, sort of intention. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, either there or. Because then I would be down, like, oh, wait, you get a bunch of salt from the boss as well. So if you skip the boss, you're losing out on quite a bit. So that's why it might not be feasible. Because you have to have those hearts before, um, before, or after you... Yeah, you just need them after the Stone of Intention. So if you actually have enough, then... Yeah, if you farm a fuck ton of salt in uh, the Seed of Intention, it could work. Uh, another thing is, it might be a faster route in that case to not... Uh, to not do Bridge Skip. Because, okay, let's think it about it this way, that we we skip the boss going back, that saves quite a bit of time. The question is, how much time do we actually save by doing bridge skip? Because if it's not that much, oh god, I'm kind of fuck this up. Ah, fuck. Uh, no, if you don't save that much time doing bridge skip, then it might be better to do Maria skip, or whatever the boss name was. And if we don't need to do bridge skip, that means we can skip out on a lot of hearts instead. Which means we don't need all that salt anyway, so it becomes a moot point. So I have to look into how much time bridge skip is saving. Because after you do, like, intended route is go the lower part from here, like a couple screens left of here, and go back that way instead to get to the village again, and then go up to, um, go up to Dreamlands. So if we don't do that, I mean... Then, it, because then instead of having like... Nine or ten hearts, you might just go 
opt for having like five hearts early just to be able to tank a couple hits in case of emergency and then what you do is you start maxing out your mana and when you've maxed out your mana and the extra salt goes into hearts which could be a viable strap I'm going to probably download this VOD, make some notes later, and one, two, oh, it's going to take two, make some notes and actually look into some of those things. Hey, look, I get to use my brain for once in the first time in forever. <laughs> enemies. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, quick kill. It's fine. Everything went better than expected. And world record is about five minutes from now. <laughs> Spoiler, I'm not getting world record. If I get sub 117, I'm gonna be happy. So I have the achievement, and then I might take that run and just upload it to have a run on the leaderboards. Because same thing, intention capital, we could easily just death warp, oh yeah, we have to, that's why I have to go outside. We could easily just death warp through here as well, but the one and a half K salt is kind of juicy. We more or less need it to be able to finish the run at this point. There and got bopped by the laser. Thank you. Oh, whoa, you're here. Just throw over the bridge. Uh, how convenient that you are here, sir. Uh, how much time does bridge skip actually save? I thought you were going to be asleep by now, boy. That was a bad shot. No, Kasei Sensei is watching me. I'm gonna choke this run so hard now. It's gonna be looking like I'm drinking some Choke Zero. No, probably Choke Extra Sugar. I don't know if you just got here, but if you haven't, you missed some quite interesting discussions on potential route stuff that we have no clue if it's actually viable or not, but hey. No. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's only about a minute, actually going for a, opting for a low heart run, skipping the second boss could be viable, and because we're skipping the second boss we might actually be able to just skip um, uh, skip bracers as well, unless we absolutely need it for the end part of the run I mean, it would completely change the uh, the run like routes in general, but oh well. Yeah, it would be a completely different game then. Um, 
yeah, opt for getting max mana early, just to like fucking nuke everything with your special weapons. Yeah, well, that's... I'm not talking about skipping the hearts. What I'm saying is that instead we try to... Oh, yeah, we want... That's, yeah, that is that is true. So, 46 pace. Should I go for Village of Artists skip? Or should I go for regular strats? Regret this. Oh well. There. Yeah. No, I. <laughs> Jumped at the wrong angle. I hate this game sometimes. The yeah, other top side there. Get about there. Jumped down about there. As usual, I am too early on my jump. Sorry for not being able to say, see me now. So I was like something like there. And now I can't get it because it's going all the way back. Shit. I'm also not at, not at enough of an angle. in the mood I actually want to just continue a run so I'll go two to the left now that I have you here Kasei do you pick up any chests in the village of artists or do you just opt not to Chest containing 2,200 salt. Okay. No, oh, that one. So that's on the next one. Yeah. Or left exit. Yeah, no. So the one after this. I'll just. Oh. oh yeah, I don't have any magic juice. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Choke. So, two clockwise. That's the way to say it properly. Kind of... I mean, the insane part is that 
your casual like oh i'm gonna show off the game run is actually world record first of all and second of all which you haven't put up on the leaderboards shame on you and that would be done by now wait i did this the wrong way i'm doing it twice whoops i <laughs> kind of slipped my mind because i was busy telling you off Yeah, now they transform. Wow. B decided to start moving right when I jumped. That's just so rude. What's that timing? Okay. Just a little bit of an interval time. There we go. Come on. Bounce yourself into the corner. Asshole. No. God damn it. This is something I actually learned, I think it was yesterday, that if you hit your corpse, you, uh, Regain health. It's possible soft lock here, isn't it? If you don't have enough to death warp, you do the bridge camp. But you will have enough to death warp. Oh. I wonder if I can actually... do this fast enough to get sub 117. That's about almost 25 minutes, or 20 something minutes. Pulling out all the stops then. Oh yeah, I can just damage boost through that, I guess, if I wanted to. Oh! Good cycle. <laughs> damage boost with laser outside and get through the literal breach. Well, that'd be interesting. developers removing good skips. I was also thinking about there's a back way. supposed to do there just jump I could have jumped to the wall but no the bull is already coming I could have jumped straight up I guess 
No, but you know when you walk on the outside and you have to hit the lock with a bouncy sub weapon to unlock it from the outside to get to a bunch of chests? What? Why did that not go off? Oh well. Uh, I wonder if they'd be able to. Oh wow. If it would be possible to. Uh, clip in through there, but then I thought that shit, it's probably not worth the time. because I found all the rooms by missing chests. No, you fucking triangle boy. Yeah. Nope. Whew. Everything went. <laughs> and I missed that jump. <laughs> well, you can't skip the entire upper section because you actually have to go that right way to uh, remove some lasers for uh, another chest. Okay, there is there is actually one hidden wall that you have to break, or a hidden door, you have to break a wall to find it in the Intention Capital. And then the stuff in Dreamlands does not come up, but yeah. And so it looks like there should be a door there, but there's no yellow marking. So I went there and you can actually jump up to the wall and then shoot it with a missile. And it just works out. Kinda ass. Okay. So it's uh, intention capital, the closest. Um, yeah, it's. Yeah, it was. I played enough of <laughs> these type of games to be able to recognize that. Hey, the map looks off here. I don't really need to kill that one. Oh well. And this room is Lissuck, so I'm gonna say bye. Just skip it.
much I fell asleep. Okay. Is it possible to damage boost through this wall or not? I think because it's one of the creation launch pads. Because I'm really not in the mood to try right now, that's for sure. What? That was a lot of damage. So, um, goodbye sub-117 dream, I guess. What am I doing? I should've just killed those first time. JJ, I think you should check uh, the Discord if you're not, because the chef is putting up a lot of fucked up pictures. So you're saying that my smooth jazz voice didn't put you to, put you to sleep? That's for going fast. I'm not even going fast. salt. I do not want to lose that. That is pretty much GG. But I'm coming up on what I think is one of the worst rooms in the entire game. So it can, it changed its fucking angle after it shot. It's not supposed to do that. Cassay, fix. <laughs> By the way, do you think that uh, an auto splitter for Dundara would be useful, or would it just be? Necessary because we have the in-game timer. I'm thinking for um, like seeing the individual splits could be nice just to see what pace you're on, I guess.
Wow. I died. Shit. I'm just... Ugh. Excuse me, everyone, for how obviously shit I am at this game. <laughs> okay. That's not just my fault. That's not fully my fault. And also, people here, especially you could say, should get some races going on speedruns live, so I can uh, get my one hour of race time in, so I can uh, be on front page there. Because that's a one hour race time is a requirement. And a lot of exposure as well for us. Get over here. at this game I'm just gonna take that shortcut every time because I need to okay the worst part of the game in my opinion is because there are a few rooms here that are just completely ass then again I have a lot more magic than I'm used to here so it might actually work, but... Wow. Almost. Okay, so if you just spam, you can actually kill them quickly. Okay. That's cool. this one. Sucks so bad. What? How did that not kill her? Wow, this was actually almost on a sub-17 pace, I think. I would have just cut out some of the deaths. Um. Oh. Okay. So that's how you get it quickly. I usually just spam fire those guys because I really can't be bothered. Ah, so that explains why they... Oh, so yeah, when they're moving around and stuff. Scythe ladies.
trying to get through it quickly and destroy the wall at the end. But I think now... Yep. That's my new strat. <laughs> Spam fire. I'm already here. Damn, this part is quick. No, no, no! I was right there. I had it. If I... Oh, no. I could have done that area, been the boss, and been done in less than 117. That was literally right before the save room door. That really sucks. I'm kinda salty now. Need more salt. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> but hey, good thing is now I'm learning fast movement through some of these rooms. Now I did it damageless because fuck logic. Hmm. No wait, uh, glossary. And I had more than enough salt. So. Okay, sub 117 is not dead. This boss shouldn't take that many minutes to beat. Cause hey, how many, how much damage do you do before you start spamming the uh, laser on him? I forgot. This is the first time I've actually gone to this in a run. If you are listening. Uh, how much damage do you do to the final boss before you just unleash with uh, the laser on him? Phase one, you just quick shoot, right? And then second phase, you do some damage and then you just spam like all your energy for lasers, right? Eighty to seven, okay. Wow. Was a clean one. Ah, that's why I did so much damage. No shit.
this is sub 117. Looks like because the final cutscene isn't that long, is it? Please be one sub 117. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. 116.16.